Today we're going to continue on with our subject and verb agreement practice. So today we're going to focus on the agreement with phrases that are separating our subject and verb. Now a lot of times when we're first learning how to read and write, we have very simple sentences like, I smell pie. And we're not separating our subjects, I, and our verbs, smell. But as we get into more complicated sentences, we'll eventually have some phrases that can get added in. Now, in general, we don't love putting phrases in between our subjects and verbs, but there are some times when it's appropriate. So one of the rules is whenever a subject and verb are separated by phrases like along with, together with, as well as, including, etc., etc., you just kind of ignore that bit to make sure that when you're looking just at your subject and just at your verb that they match. So sometimes it's good to even like cross them out, cover them up with your finger to make sure that they're not throwing you off. Because here we have Dave, who is our subject. His brothers are not. So Dave is singular, so we want a singular verb, is. But by the time we get all the way to brothers, that's what we're hearing, and so is English speakers, lots of times we hear brothers, which is plural, so we want to stick that plural verb in there. So Dave, along with his many brothers, are a big fan. But because Dave is our subject, and we have this extraneous piece of information, so you can even see how it's set off by commas, meaning it's not our core subject, that we want to make sure that we're using the appropriate verb. So we'll do a few of these together. The guitar players, not Frodo Baggins, looks like they could use a nap. So our subject here is the guitar players. Now this is plural, so we want to make sure our verb, looks, is also plural. So for us, that means it should be look. So the guitar players, you could even take out Frodo Baggins, ignore it, and read the guitar players look like they could use a nap. You can test this a little bit with your ear, that sounds correct. And we can move on to the next one. So the blue shirt, singular, looks our singular verb. Because remember, we don't want to fall into the S trap. So while lots of times in English we add S's to make our nouns plural, so cat becomes cats, we do the opposite with our verbs. So look is our plural and looks is our singular. The suspect, singular, not senna, was at the scene of the crime. Some of those with the irregular forms of the singular and plural of the verbs you might have to kind of think back on a little bit. So the opera singers, plural, accompanied by Jarrah Hoffman, fills the stage with beautiful music. Because the opera singers is plural, we want to have the plural version of the verb. Sandy Cheeks' neighbors, neighbors with an S, plural, as well as her mom, make delicious cupcakes for the neighborhood bake sale. Make is already in the plural form, so we actually don't need to do anything with this question. The entire group, so here we're throwing in a collective, so, but it is still just one group, so we're going to treat that as singular. So singular of go is goes. So the entire group goes to the Apple Store monthly. I hope this was helpful for you with looking at subject and verb agreement, especially focusing on those that have these phrases that kind of interrupt. As always, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out.